Hello and welcome to another episode from the Water's Edge. Now, today you catch up with us on part three of our cod quest. We're back down at Albertown Beach and we've got some pretty grueling conditions to be honest with you. We've got a real strong southerly wind blowing, it's cold and it's pretty grim in all honesty. But we're down here again hopefully to put a cod on camera for you and we've got off to an absolute flyer. As first chuck, we've just gone and landed the target species. Now, obviously, he's not going to break any records. It's only a tiny one, but we'll just slip that hook out. But it's a target species and it's the first one on camera. I'm not going to say that's challenge complete because really we want a bigger one. We want a sizable one. But that's a great start to the session. It's a lovely little fish. You see the, the mottled markings that it's famous for. You've got the white lateral line and of course the little barbule. Now I've heard there's, there's quite a few of these little chaps about at the moment. But there has been one or two better fish mixed in. So hopefully before the session's out we'll get one of those on camera for you. But what we'll do is we'll get him slipped back and hopefully we'll let him grow into a big one which we'll be able to catch in a few years time. So we're slipping back, but what, what a great start. It's a great start. We'll get that rig baited up, we'll get it back out there. Hopefully we'll see if we can get a bigger one. Well, that rod's fishing away again. As I said here today, we are back down at Alborough and it's part three of the Cod Quest. Now, you probably, a few of you out there will have seen parts one and two, but before we go on, if you haven't, you can see them if you click on the link in the top corner here. But this is part three, so we've started well, we've got the target species. The rod's back out there again now and it's fishing well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bait up this spare rig. The rig again, what we have used in the previous two parts is the good old pulley panel rig. Nothing complicated about it. We've got a pair of Frio hooks, six ounce impact lead, and we're going to clip the whole thing down. Today, because the wind is strong, it's important to have everything streamlined. You know, I'm not, I'm not the greatest caster in the world, so it is tough today. I'm having to really punch it out there, trying to keep the lead low and punch it into the wind. So having your rigs clipped down is essential, really. So this, this is a, a, a must in, in my fishing is the impact lead. But what we're going to do is I'm going to get this, this spare rig baited now. Once again, we've got the good common lugworm. It's from the tackle shop. We've got 100 with us today. That should be enough. We're hopefully planning to fish through till about half past eight this evening. So we'll get a couple of hours, two, three hours into darkness. The state of the tide at the moment is actually on the ebb. We've got low water around half past five. So at the moment, I've, I've just sort of eased my way into the session really. We've only got one rod fishing at the moment. And that's because the best time I would guess is gonna be a couple of hours before low water. So sort of from half past three onwards. It's only around half past two at the moment. So I don't wanna burn through, use all the bait, fish really hard in perhaps what's not going to be the best part of the tide. So that's what we've done. We're going to ease the way in. I've got a second rod with me, so we'll, we'll play it by ear a little bit. We'll perhaps have a couple of chucks just with a one, see how it goes. If we pick up one or two fish, then we'll perhaps get the second rod out a bit early. But what I'm going to do is I'll bait this spare rig up now. As you as you probably seen then, and as you'll have seen in, if you've watched the other two parts, I always like to have a, a spare rig 
baited and ready to go because you actually have the water for then for a limited amount of time whereas you can imagine now this is this is taking a few minutes just to get this this bait sorted well if i didn't have the spare rig ready i'd have no rods in the water so that's that's essential to me especially as well because you get often you get with a codlin you know you get a run of fish come through so you want to be maximizing the time you got a you got a bait there once again large baits as you see there that fish had no problem taking that i mean that was four worms on a panel nice big bait nice smell in the water we have as well got some squid with us today which i'm just defrosting in a bucket at the moment just the standard you know the calamari the unwashed stuff but we'll perhaps give that a little run out as well but there you go that's the bait so we'll clip it onto the lead just goes on the little clip on the red impact lead clip it like so and that's a nice streamlined cod bait so what we'll do is we'll get that hung on the tripod and i think it's probably time for the first couple of the session it's a bit chilly today and it's, it's a bit grim to be honest with you but we're out here giving it a go and hopefully we'll be rewarded with something slightly bigger That's a good sign just as I was interrupted from a coffee we've got another another little codlin so what I'll probably do now is is we'll definitely get that second rod out because normally well hopefully there's small ones there's got to be one or two better fish mixed in as you see a lot this is a lot lighter fish than the first one a lot lighter colors the other one was quite dark but once again another very pretty little fish he was only lip hooked and believe it or not I was reeling and just see him down at the water's edge there and the hook must have popped out but he's a lively one so what we'll do is give him best chance of survival because these are the future fish and hopefully this time next year you know these fish will be around pound and a half in weight because they put on weight really quickly the codlin so what we'll do is we'll, we'll get him popped back and uh, we'll get the other rod baited and ready to go so we'll see you in a second. Well, I tell you, that's grim out there now. That southerly wind is really strong. It's a real, real grueler. And it's nice to get back in the, the comfort of the shelter, really. So I'm sorry if some of the, the camera work today, a lot of it is done inside the shelter because we'd just struggle to pick any, any sound up on camera, if not. But it's a good start anyway. Two fish and two chucks, so I'm gonna get the other rod ready I'm just getting this spare rig baited up first one thing which really surprised me today is is how much this bit of beach has changed I mean we came back down there in November and we fished about two three hundred yards further up the beach there and there was 100 200 yards of shingle and I said to Steve as we, we pulled up there and looking for a spot to drop in you'll see me on that video you got a walk down 100 yards probably to get to the water and today oh well it's completely gone the, the the wall is exposed i've never seen it like that before but i i suppose it's down to the the real strong winds and stormy weather we've had this year i mean this has got to be one of the the windiest roughest winters i can i can remember you know even though it's not been cold it's been real rough and it's certainly done some damage to this beach. I mean, God knows where all that shingle is gone, but I guess somewhere, you know, further around the coast, the beach is probably built up, but it's crazy. Just getting the, the other bait done anyway. Once again, I'm probably gonna go with a nice big bait. Four worms again, I reckon. We've got some good cod baits today. It's 
real going to be a real job to to sort of spot the bites and stuff. But I mean, I think hopefully you know we want to catch a fish which is which is sizable. So that's over. I think it's it's probably around 35, 40 centimeters. I've got a, a measure in there. I'm pretty sure it's about 35. But to be honest with you, with the the state of the fishing is at the moment, I think anything I catch, I'll put it back anyway. finish up with this. What I'm doing as well is I'm, I'm just nipping these the wires down just to tighten them up a little bit because there is a bit of bit of surf run and it's a it's a big quite a fairly big tide today. We've got a new moon so it's this the second set of big tides of the month. So just squash the wires down to make sure they don't trip out and you don't find the whole lot dragging around but Clip it up there again and, and once again a nice nice bait to send out there. I mean if we keep getting the small fish I may you know may try something like a whole squid or you know one of the, the squid wraps we used before. If not I might even put a little live bait rig but we'll 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 see how it goes. I'm gonna get get this clipped on the tripod and probably get the other rod out now so we'll get going with that and you know we'll see what unfolds really but it's it's been a good start and you know even if we don't catch a bigger fish it's real good to see them little fish coming through, you know, because back in November there, there was none and it was it was barren really. And if you've watched our last, you know, part one and part two, you know, we were absolutely battered by whiting. So if we're absolutely battered by little coddling today, I'll, uh, I'll just about live with that. So let's see how it goes. Well, that's another fish, just move this rod out of the way. And possibly, they're getting a little bit bigger. We'll just slip the hook out. Stones off him. But, yeah, nice little fish. Once again, he's a few, few ounces off our, uh, our target. But a lovely little specimen all the same. Once again, lovely markings on him. So we'll get this little fella back. We'll get another bait out there. Lovely. We're all back in the shelter now. It's now coming up. I know just about half past five, something like that, so we're not too far off bottom of the tide. We've had a, we had a few coddlers we've shown you, we've had a few more as well, but we're not showing you them all. But it's tough fishing, tough conditions, you know. You can probably hear it on the shelter. It's certainly blowing well out there, and after, I'm having to cast a long way, a long way up tide, because obviously taking into account the tide and the wind, which at the moment are both pushing together, so there's some real tough conditions, but we're, we're carrying on for the moment. I don't know how long for, to be honest with you, because that is real hard work. I'm tempted to give it an hour or so into darkness, but I might just fish with a one rod in that period, just because it's a nightmare. I mean, even in daylight hours, to see where the lines are and them not crossing and then putting one out, and it's, it's, just, it's just real hard work, but it's not... It's not too bad, we're doing it just about at the moment. There's a couple of other guys just up to the left who have turned up. They turned up, I suppose, I don't know, about an hour ago. So I've, I guess they had the same sort of thoughts as us, really, to so try and pick a few fish off as we reach the bottom of the tide. But it's, it's been steady, it's been steady. I've still, you know, got my fingers crossed for that bigger fish. But, you know, if it's, if it's not today, then, you know, we'll carry on. It's, it's just such a shame, really, that this got this real strong wind because I think we'd have seen some good bites we've got some good footage on camera and 
you know, it would have been a lot better, but we'll carry on for a little bit anyway. You, you know, you never know what happens. But, um, yeah, it's just a quick update anyway. I'd probably uh, look a bit windswept there, so all that all that time in hair and makeup I had before I come down is wasted now, but it's, uh, it's right, at least we've had some cod then anyway. So, we'll, uh, we'll keep battling away. Well, that's the end of another another session down at Aldborough and another part of the Cod Quest. It's been in some absolutely grueling conditions today, um, and we haven't really been been favoured with with good conditions on our quest so far. I mean, another real strong southerly, and it, it's just really affected the ability to fish properly. As you can probably hear it now, blowing around, it's gusting gale force, and it's it's been a nightmare all day, to be honest with you. But on the plus side, we have had the target species. Now, even though they haven't been the biggest fish in the world, it certainly beats catch and white. And as I said earlier, it's a great sign for the future. So hopefully them fish next year will hopefully avoid the trawlers and everything like that and grow on and come back and, and we'll be able to catch them then. But as for the cod quest for this year, well, I think to be honest with you, to, to get a sizable fish, we may have to head offshore um, with a charter boat or something like that. We've got a couple of contacts who we may be able to call on, who might be able to take us out for a day or so, but it just doesn't appear there's any bigger fish around at the moment. Now, however, this might change, you know, as the, the crabs come into molt and we might get a spring run, you know, as they venture in, the bigger fish sometimes follow them. So, you know, perhaps that's what we're waiting for, but I, I do hope you've enjoyed it we've enjoyed filming it again and I've enjoyed fishing even though the weather the weather has been grim but we're now going to head home probably stop and get some fish and chips and get warm so thanks for watching be lucky and we'll see you again on the next one